I finished my build for the Hazelands Teen Fielding um, competition. I'm super excited. As I feel the uh, Mother Goetia came out really cool. Her mobile fortress is neat. Really excited how this looks. We have all the model magic guys stayed on. The plastic toy took paint well. I had to invent a few new techniques for getting the paint within the cracks on these mushrooms. Um, but yeah, it worked out pretty well. I am super happy that the top part is still removable, so the party or characters can encounter a witch and her hut, and if things go sour, suddenly you have a much larger threat to deal with. Um, but yeah, the big old mushrooms came out pretty well. Got like the spiky teeth kind of guys on the bottom edge of the mushrooms. Uh, the door itself is Sculpey. But yeah, I feel like this pulled together a lot of the weird odds and ends that I had sitting around. Um, I ended up having to put ink inside of a spray bottle with a mixture of water to spray and get in all the different cracks on there. And then dry brush a um, kind of a chestnut brown over it. Um, these mushrooms themselves were from Michael's, what feels like a thousand years ago. Uh, we've got bamboo skewers, we've got Lego windows, we have, again, recycled old toy, we have bits of insulation foam that I used for other projects and just, they've been sitting around. Uh, also, with Mother Goetia, because I love how she can sit, or at least stand on top of her house. I made it so we can remove her from the base. The base is all milliput with um, bits of Sculpey other projects kind of attached to it. Um, but yeah, kind of using up a lot of the odds and ends. Uh, the brickwork and all of the bricks that I used were purchased like pre-pandemic, actually during pandemic when I first started getting the idea of starting to do miniature terrain and things like that. Um, there is a piece of metal underneath this that all of the bricks are glued to to make it so the whole top surface here is magnetic, which is how the hut sticks to it very well. Um, I might add on other weird details later, but I am really happy with how this has turned out so far. Like always with these projects, I forgot to mention that I do have a Patreon. Um, I am listed under Book Gnome, just like a lot of my other socials here. Um, I think the benefit is I will be able to make more builds like this and more videos uh, if I get some more funding, uh, which would be which would be great. Uh, also excited that. Almost all of these, actually all of these materials that I used for this project were things I already had.